try and hope it all really well. Um, I hope you like this new setup. This is my uni setup and I think it's my final one now. And also I got a new camera. Uh, reasons why I'm obviously gonna be in this video. Um, just quickly wanna apologize if you are a returning subscriber uh, about my absence recently. Like I've had like an assignment after assignment after assignment and also my camera was just really doing my head in in this lighting situation at university and I knew I was getting a new one soon so I just wanted to wait again and then kind of like relaunch my YouTube channel. Yeah, I've got lots of plans coming up. Um, I've got like a university wellbeing series I really want to do. I'm gonna start like a new sort of fashion segment on my channel because that's when I started. I really, really wanted to do about fashion. So if you're not subscribed, please do hit subscribe. See all these wonderful things coming up which I have planned and I'm really excited to film for you. But today's haul, however, is going to be, today's haul, is it a haul? Is it really? Mm. It's my birthday present. Basically, I turned 21 on Friday the 18th of November, 2016. And being my 21st birthday, I got some amazing gifts this year. Like I was so like outstanding by the generosity of friends and family. Um, just even people like bothering to send cards who I didn't expect anything from. It was so sweet and so kind. But yeah, I'm just gonna show you what I've got. Like usual disclaimer with things, this isn't a bragging thing. This is just quite a cool way to show you what I got. And I said this, I think, on my Christmas one, like it's a nice like alternative to haul, and I really enjoy watching these, so hopefully you will too and I'm really sorry if I keep looking sort of in that direction it's just because I now have a monitor on my camera and it's I'm like getting used to seeing myself um, and I'm still like really nervous that I'm going out of focus every now and then so bear with me on that one but yeah I'm going to show you what I got. Okay I'm actually going to start off with the thing that I'm wearing and this is a jumper this I got from Scott who's my boyfriend of about two years now and yeah we bought to London uh, and we bought to Topshop but we spent a lot of time top shop, probably longer than he wanted to. Um, and I just picked out a few things for my birthday as well, some other bits. Um, I just said like, just take me shopping on my birthday because I feel like I want something then and then it will change for a few months. So like stockability and size is easier if I choose. And but he did get me some flowers in the morning and also um, like a nice big box of chocolates and things to open so I wasn't waking up empty handed. <laughs> yeah, I got this jumper. I think it retails about 32 pounds, um, which I think is quite good for top shop. It's a really soft material, really nicely lined. But it's like your box down like a jumper except with cut out shoulders but hopefully this will be you can focus on this can you see these cut out shoulders there's like this um i don't know what you call it like a clip which does up and a hook thing so that's really cool and at the back as well i don't know how well you'll be able to see it but it's just got a slit going across there so it's kind of like a bit gappy crop but not really crop like a long crop jumper it's so warm though, and snuggly and i really like it um i think it was a really reasonable price for a top shop i have to say actually as i was shopping there side note sorry whilst i was in there like i was shocked at some of the prices like they have just i rocked it up albeit this was the oxford street one so maybe they have like all the specialist boutique stuff i was actually just thinking like a pair of like flare trousers made from like not even satin but like a pajama material and they were 55 quid and i was just like how are you charging this much for this like it's just not good by the by but i really like this jumper really easy to wear i love anything which is like simple but with a twist that's kind of like why i choose my clothes i look simple things with a bit of a twist so i can wear them easily but they'll just something a bit different. Okay, I'm really hoping the lighting doesn't go crazy when I pick this up. The main gift Scott got me, and I chose this weeks in advance, I saw it in Vogue on the Facebook page, and I was like, oh my god, that's going to be like hundreds of nearly thousands of pounds, it will be from one of the design stores, and it was from and other stories, and it is this, is <laughs> it's going to be, it's a real one here, TPs, but it's this jumper. I absolutely adore this jumper. It's sequined at the top, the knitted here in colour block. Um, it's not itchy at all in the inside, lined, it's not lined, but it's like, it's just sewn in really well to the fabric there's like a nice gap it doesn't scratch and um, it's just navy blue at the back i love this so much i think it's just so cool with such a unique piece and i can't see anybody else on campus rocking this um i just think it's awesome like i said i saw it in vogue and i was amazed that it wasn't one of the designer pieces so that's from other stories 65 pounds can't recommend this much um thank you so much scott for this because this is like my favourite item of clothing. Probably this winter, just because it is so different and bold and out there and I love it. Okay, I'm just going to think I'm just going to carry on with the pieces from Scott and then move on. So this next skirt, basically Natalie in a skirt. I'm completely you. And it is, oh dear, it's undone. I haven't worn it out yet, but it's this ring leopard print sort of mini skirt, like a pencil one. And it is, it's very, very me. Um, I think it will look really nice though, because you wear it in summer with like a band t-shirt, like a ripped one, and that will look really cool. Or you can wear it in winter with like nearly black tie boots and a black turtle neck, which is basically like my staple when I just change skirts in the winter with that. But I just think this is so cute. Uh, this was, and it's really nice material as well actually, like it's quite thick. This was £36 and it's got buttons as well at the top so it fits really nicely and doesn't move around like other skirts tend to do. So I'm a big fan of this, really enjoy this. And I think this is the final thing from Topshop, or the final thing that Scott got me more like. 
and this was actually the dress I wore out on my birthday. Oh no, he did get me something else, I'll show that at the end. Um, and it is this lacy cami dress. I really wanted to get a dress from London for my birthday to wear, and I'll show you like a little clip of me wearing it. It's really nice around the front. It's beautifully but the body underneath is elastic so it's not really tight when you walk like you can't it's not like you can only walk and like robot movements it's just you can dance when you want your heart's content i believe it was around 40 pounds um but i really like it i would say size up however these can't really small if you do decide it i'll try to find a link that's at the top uh really pretty really well made actually i really like this dress and it's like it's a pretty dress and a statement dress, but not too much of a statement dress that you'd wear it out once and everyone would know if you're wearing it again, like, oh god, she's in that dress again, because it's quite, um, what's what I'm looking for, like, quite understated, I really, really like it. Really flashing on most shape types as well. Alright, so moving on from my boyfriend onto my housemate. I have three male housemates this year and I'm going to name drop them, so, yeah. <laughs> my first housemate, the only girl housemate I live in, and that is Amber. Um, she got me this Revolution palette, which is absolutely insane. It was so kind of her to get this. It's got 144 different shades, and I think that I'm going to do a video actually where I might swatch all of these shades and see how they all are. I think you can get this in Superdrug at the moment. It's quite good actually having a birthday like relatively near Christmas, but not too near because you get all like the Christmas gift sets coming in, so it's great, like, be a double the amount. <laughs> But yeah, the most beautiful shades in there. Like that looks so cool on the um on the monitor actually. You can see all the different colours. Around here you can see like got loads of like gold shimmers, and you go a bit more like brown neutrals, and you go a bit more like gold uh shimmery colours, and then that really bright pink. The gold colour is lush. There is just so many nice colours in here. It's literally like every colour from Revolution. Pam got me that, she also got me something else which is in the bag, and I'll find in a bit. That was really, really kind of her. Like my housemates really went all out, like they cleaned the house, did all my washing up because we had a bit of a party here. That was really, really kind of her, like my housemates really Really went all out like they cleaned the house did all my washing up because we had a bit of a party here that was really really kind of her like my housemates really went all out like they cleaned the house did all my washing up because we had a bit of a party here like all got me cards like wrapped up beautifully like they really were good <laughs> it was really 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 made my day and then matt um <laughs> she made me laugh i think matt and Anna might go shopping together um <laughs> got me the revolution ultimate blush and light and ultimate blush and light and contour palette ah! so it's all the blushes and all the highlighters you went um, I love Revolution highlights. I don't actually own any, but all my friends seem to, so I always like me and dip into theirs and steal it. So this is a really cool gift. Oh, to open them. Probably won't swap to do a video on swatching all these. Oh, I can't even open it. Right, you're just gonna have to watch it like that. Um, but I won't do a video on swatching all these partly because a lot of these dark colours like wouldn't go for my skin tone. Like I wouldn't be able to wear them because they are too dark for me. But it's really cool, like just to bring these over. If, um, I want to do my friend's makeup or anything. That colour, Living For, they got the purple highlight, they got this bright white highlight, all these blushes, oh, I love it so much, this was such a cool gift, so thank you for that. Oh, this was the other little thing my housemate got me, she got me a beauty blender, it was just like a really cute little extra gift, and it's got a little cat on the front, can you see that? It's just got like a little cat on the front, so that's really My other housemate, Andrew, who I lived with in first year, not in second year, and then lived with him again in third year, got me a nice little bottle of Prosecco, because when else are you going to drink Prosecco if not your 21st? Um, and these which I did ask for, but I'm really glad he went he basically an hour so to get them. And these are Bubble Tea Cosmetics. If you don't know about the brand, get to know, because these are like the ultimate Christmas present stocking fillers, I think. So these are, um, what are they exactly? They're basically tea bags. They're summer fruit, but they are, I'm pretty sure they're just bubble bath basically. So they're in a tea bag shape and you dip them into your bubble bath and then it just fizzes and stuff. And it's such a cute brown, like really affordable, really recommend them. If you like Lush, I think you'll definitely like bubble tea because it's the same kind of cute, like quirky spin on thing and all their packaging is to die for I love it. Also got me a really pretty rose candle. It smells really nice mm. and just the packaging of it is really sweet. It's a nice, nice rose packaging and it's from Royal Heritage Horti Ooh, no Royal Horticultural Society. Don't know where he would have got this from but I'm gonna try to find a link anyway for you. And this which is kind of a bit of a joke between us. Um, it is the Pokemon Go book and it's like the unofficial guide to catching all the Pokemon. So I know Pokemon Go was a big phase like six months ago but I basically haven't grown out of it and I love it. Um, I can't say I'll probably read this book up bed at night, but I would definitely, I think, refer to it when I need some advice. So my family, friends, Catherine, Rob, Abby and Becky, that's all one family, um, got me some makeup -y bits from this brand, which I've never heard of before, actually, so I think I will do a review on them. It's called the Me, Me. It's just called Me, I think, Makeover Essentials. But honestly, this bag, I was like, there is just endless stuff in this bag. I'll show you it really quickly. This one, it's got like a little Kabuki brush and it comes in a pouch. This is really handy, actually, because like, I do have a Kabuki brush, but it's gonna be a little bit nah. Although, is that a Kabuki brush? I'll call that a blusher brush. One, well, feel free to like correct me. Um, I really like the brussels in this. Really thick. Like, will be really nice. I think putting on body shimmer because it's such a big 
bra. These, which I have tried really briefly, and actually I love them. They're like a mini set of lip glosses. That gold colour, which I like using, is really cute. I'm going to try and find a website for these. Um, like I said, I haven't heard the brand before, so I'm not sure where it's stocked, but I will have a look. And this, oh, these look so cute. It feels like a mini makeover essentials. I think these are all for travel, which is great. Ah, it opens really cool. Look at that. Look how, I don't know how well you can see them, but so cute and small. But these eyeshadows are so pretty, as are those two basic ones. Like, they're such needed colours. The one that strikes out to me is this lovely mint green. It's, like, so glittery, and that will look really... Because I have green eyes, that will look really nice with, like, a liner inside my eyes. And this looks like the book of colour, which is... This is beautiful. All these neutral colours of eyeshadows, and then a green there, and the green, again, is really pretty. I haven't swatched these, so I don't know how they come up, but they look really nice. The only thing, like, the lip glosses, that'd be good. And then, like, a little blush, highlight, and contour. That highlight... Oh, that swatches nicely. It was gorgeous. Like that's so handy just to have on my like, top to top up. Really happy with that. Oh yeah, this. It's a. Doo -doo -doo. It's like one of those bronzer sticks which come out and then the brush on the other side. But I can never get the hang of these. So I'm hoping this one. It's all right. Like I never know. Like do I shake it? Will it all come out if I do that? But because I have tried this one quickly, it's really quite glittery. So I think it might be for the body. And but I'm gonna use it probably for my body and all my collarbones and stuff to highlight them. Oh, my old house like Erin actually got me two packs of these, the Happy Hippos. Um, however, out of the ten, there were only three left. Saturday was a very hungover day, and these were the nearest food we had to hand. So Scott and I kind of went a little bit crazy on these. Oh. Something else, this is the other little thing than Scott, and it's just a portable charger. Basically, my phone always dies, so as soon as we went to thingy, he's like, you have to get, he was like, I don't have any requests or anything in particular you have to get for your birthday, but you do have to get a portable charger. So that was part of my birthday present, and that's by Skinny Dip, and I got it from um, Topshop, and there's like, it's kind of like a rainbow iridescent thing so it starts off pink and then kind of goes more into silver which is exciting it's very thin as well i like i like how thin it is as well to carry it around <laughs> this was such a sweet gift and a really unexpected gift as well i do like kickboxing with her a little bit while i decide to go and also um just like a lot of union stuff at the university and i really wasn't expecting it from her at all so it was so sweet um, and she got me the Tana Burrs Cosmetics It's Kissmas lip glosses, which I thought was so cute because I wasn't expecting it. And she said to me, she was like, oh, I've read your blog before and I know you do, um, you like the Tana Burr lipsticks. And I do, I love the Tanya Burr lipstick. So this was really, really thoughtful and the card she got me as well was lovely. And yeah, very unexpected, so I'm really, really thrilled to use these. I wanted, to, I've been dying to use these so much, but I wanted to keep it in the packaging for one this video and also like, just to do like a stocking filler sort of thing video, um, which is coming up. Oh yeah, that's another thing, side note, like plug here. Um, I'm planning to do Vlogmas and maybe Vlogmas. Watch this space, subscribe to find out. But yeah, that's really sweet and I'm so excited to use these. I need some more reds in my life, I don't have many. My darling little brother, who's not actually that little, he's 18, um, got me this plate from Anthropology and it is so cool, just I'm not actually gonna use it to ease off, I'm gonna use it for like a vlog prop and things like that, but it's so pretty. Um, it's not actually anthropology, it's like a brand they sell in there called Udio Owls. I have no idea, but it's so nice. It came in like a beautiful box and stuff. I'm actually using the box for storage at the moment. I was so, I couldn't believe it when he got me that. I was so thoughtful of him. I think as far as gifts on hand, I have to show you that is it. However, there are a few little things I do want to mention. So there were three sort of gifts from people which I didn't take back to uni because either one, they're too valuable to bring back or two, I wanted them for my home. So I'm, I have like taken videos and pictures, so I'll insert them all as I'm speaking. Um, the first gift was from my parents and that was a sapphire necklace and it's so beautiful. It's like a, I don't know if it's an antique one, but like it's been worn before, which I really like. I really, I don't know, but it's the most beautiful. It's just like a really simple necklace with a sapphire in the middle. It's where I live, I play, live in my little Guildford and like do, do cry for the moon, like I always look into a jewelry shop like, oh, and I'm not that big a jewelry fan, but the stuff there is incredible. So that was from my mum and dad, and that was kind of like my heirloom. Is that a thing? No, not an heirloom. Or something for me to have as like my first proper piece of jewelry to, I guess, pass down to my daughter, hopefully, if I have one, um, and such like that. So that was incredible. And also, another piece of jewelry I received was from my grandma. She has had a watch on a wind up clock on a necklace for I don't even know how long, but she's had it for ages, and I always compliment it on her. And she gave that to me for my 21st and she sort of said like, she's 88, like she's nearly 90 basically. She kind of made a joke like, oh, we we're going to have it soon anyway, so we may as well have it now. Which was a little concerning, that's just her humour. Um, but yeah, I, she's 
I love that. It's like this vintage style and it's beautiful. And she also got me a Vera Wang by Wedgwood little like trinket box, which I have left at home. Just because I don't really have the place for it here. And if you're a uni student, you know you don't want to bring like your really nice stuff with you to uni for various reasons. Same with the necklaces, like they'll be insured on the home insurance, but I basically have to take out insurance here just to, to cover those and it's not really worth it. So I've kept it there. Something else I got was what's parents and family, and that was a dinosaur print, which I, I did choose. Um, but it's from Wolf and Badger. And if you don't know about Wolf and Badger, get to know Wolf and Badger because they're homeware. Like their clothing, I can't even afford, so I don't even look at. But their home warm prints are gorgeous. And um, they got me like a dinosaur print. I can't remember the name of the artist, but I will put it in words on the screen because I will Google it after that. And um, they do loads of stuff. It's like cha cha letters or chai chai letters or something. But it's like gorgeous. They do all these bright, colourful things, all within like the same theme. But they also got me a frame as well to go with it, which is amazing. Um, I've just kept it at my home home because I'm currently kind of working like a print wall there. And then there's another thing. Oh my God, yes, my camera, what I'm filming on now. So I got the Canon uh, 70D, just the body, because I already had a lens from the other Canon and I am like thrilled with it. What I've wanted to do since getting it is just film and take photographs of everything. I can see myself, it self focuses. And this is great because I loved doing filming on YouTube and stuff, but like honestly, if I had an hour to film, it would take me like 45 minutes to set it up in the first place and then I'd film the 10 minute video or however long it was and it'd be out of focus and then like that would be just a complete waste of time. So it's amazing that it auto focuses, I can see myself. Um, and this will be really good for photos as well because I can do like outfit shots and take photos and see what I'm actually doing and that I'm in focus and things like that. So yeah, I believe that's what I got for my birthday. I'm really, really, really sorry if I missed you out. Oh no, sorry, very quickly. I'm just gonna do a shout out in case you watch this. Um, Rowena and Tom got me a caterpillar cake and a big uh, champagne bottle, which was really, really cute and I'm excited. So I haven't yet to drink that, but I am going out on Friday. So might get into that then. But yeah, thank you to everyone who made my birthday weekend special it was honestly amazing i did vlog it i've done 21 moments on my 21st but it's kind of like i will put it on youtube but like i know it's not a very good video it's more for myself because like half of it is on like a really crappy camera and then a little bit of it is on my iphone because it's from the night out and then some of it is on this camera so it's like really all over the place but like i just wanted to make it more for ourselves and um, for more for myself more for memories than kind of an entertainment value purposes but i will share that stuff but thank you so much for watching if you haven't please subscribe do check out my instagram and my blog and my twitter and i think that's it i can't plug myself anymore i plug myself like four times in this video so i'm gonna sign off now thank you so much for watching have a lovely day bye